this. Amen. 
So, la manera de encontrar esa respuesta es simple, en el plan original y perfecto que el Señor hizo para nuestros cuerpos y nuestras almas. Simple, ¿verdad? Because our sexuality is a gift. It's a gift from God. So it's good. Amen? If we have only one conversation, nos escuchamos mejor, right? Okay. Um, Our sexuality is a gift, and we can choose to be selfish or generous with it. Nuestra sexualidad podemos elegir si somos egoístas o generosos, ¿verdad? Entonces, lo que nos dice Juan Pablo II en la teología del cuerpo, el Beato Juan Pablo II, es que somos creados para amar. Es simple, but yet so profound. That we were created for love. That our bodies, our physical bodies, show us and teach us profound truth of our identity and our purpose in life. Amen? Amen. So what is that? Is that God desires to have an intimate relationship with us and to live in a communion with Him and with each other. Entonces nuestros cuerpos nos enseñan unas verdades profundas de nuestra identidad, de quiénes somos, de que Dios anhela una profunda intimidad con nosotros, un profundo amor en, con nosotros, para que vivamos en comunidad con Él y con los demás. Eso es lo que nuestro cuerpo nos enseña, está diseñado para mostrarnos. ¿Verdad? But in reality, what is society showing us? Let's, let's just, you know, take two seconds to think about it. So, society flipped the idea of self-giving. La sociedad nos dañó la, la idea de darse a sí mismo. Entonces, las historias que nos cuentan el día de hoy, que le dicen historias de amor, en realidad son historias de lujuria. If we think about it, today's love stories should really be called lust stories, right? Just think about the movies. Oh, he sees her, she sees him, and then like half an hour later, they in bed. Oh, but I love her, you know? And this is what they're telling us, that love equals sex. Y realmente, that's when we have a disorder desire for, sex, for sexuality, that's really lust. So, we have been confused by what society is telling us. Nos hemos confundido con lo que la sociedad nos está enseñando. Nos dice, en realidad, el amor es generoso. Love is generous. It's a gift. Desires to give. To give. But lust wants to take. Wants to get. So, it's a difference. Es selfish. Entonces, el amor en un lado es generoso, quiere entregar de sí mismo, quiere regalarse como un regalo. Pero la lujuria lo que quiere es coger, eh, tomar, recibir. Y es egoísta. Entonces, tenemos una confusión de lo que es el amor, la vida, la, el puesto de la sexualidad. So, a lot of people criticize our beautiful church, thinking, oh, you guys are obsessed with sex, all, you, all these rules, all these regulations, you don't want us to have fun. But in reality, if we think about it, this is a response to a society that is obsessed about sex. Just look around, the TV, the ads, it's everywhere. Explicit or implied, The sexual content is everywhere. So it's not that we as a church are obsessed with the thought. It's that we are responding to a world that is broken because they are taking a wrong approach to sexuality. So muchas veces estamos confundidos. Dicen que la iglesia está obsesionada con el sexo, todas las reglas, no quieren que nadie se divierta. Pero en realidad es nuestro mundo, nuestra sociedad en la que vivimos, que está obsesionada con una lujuria que nos ha dañado el significado del amor, de la vida, del sexo. Entonces, 
nuestra iglesia responde para llamarnos a cuál es el verdadero propósito de nuestras vidas, de nuestros cuerpos y de nuestro, del amor verdadero. So, just, can we imagine, just let's think two seconds, let's imagine a world without divorce, without STDs, sexual abuse, depression, eating disorders, guilt, addictions, cheating. Can, can you guys imagine that? Is that, do you guys think it's even possible? It's sad, right? But don't we all want this? Nosotros queremos un, un mundo perfecto, que no haya divorcio, que no haya enfermedades venéreas, que no haya abuso sexual, que no haya depresión, suicidio. Nosotros queremos eso, ¿verdad? Pero en realidad, ¿es, es posible pensar de que eso exista? Es triste la realidad, pero hay esperanza. So, if this is what we all want, and we all know that we want love, right? We all want love. How come it's so hard to find a real love? We think about like where, how did that even start? So for example, some of the things that, that we hear that are going on are some things like, like what, for example, let's, let's hear from our, our sisters and brothers over there. I've been hooked on porn for years and I don't know how to get rid of the stuff. Okay, so the first way to get rid of the stuff is to get rid of the stuff. I mean, you're not going to get it break your magazine. Or like hiding the magazines under your bed and making believe they don't exist anymore. You just get rid of it. If you have like the files on your computer, get rid of it. If you like know some websites and you have them bookmarked on your, on your browser, get rid of it and just don't go back. And sort of sometimes, you know, a lot of the porn is on the computer and, and, and you don't have it bookmarked or saved or anything. Make yourself accountable and like don't use the internet alone or, or late at night or when you feel like the temptation is going to creep up on you. If you need to go on the internet to do homework, then do the homework and get off. And even go on Facebook sometimes because that can distract you too. So just like little steps like that will help you. Thank you. Okay. So what are the other things that we hear that are going on? No one has ever seemed interested in me. I hate my body. What other things that we hear? Um, I gave in to him because I thought it would make him like me more, but the next day he acted like he hardly knew me. Hmm. Sounds familiar? You always hear about the guys using the girls, but after I gave my virginity to my girlfriend, I found out she was cheating on me. So, estas son algunas cosas que escuchamos. Amen. Amen. So, have any of you? Does any of this sound familiar to you? Raise your hand. Have you guys ever seen somebody that went through a situation like this? Alguno de nosotros conocemos de estas realidades en la vida, cierto? Do you think that some of us young people look at these things that are happening and? Does it make us like kind of like lose hope? Does any it ever happen to you? Do you think that there's all these like divorce rates and all these things? Does that make you lose hope? Right? So how do we see this sexual behavior out of control in our in our society? Give me some examples. How is it out of control? How does that influence our, our view in our sexuality, our life? Give me some examples. Y como esas, esas realidades que vemos en la sociedad nos, nos dañan la manera que nosotros vemos eh, en la vida, el amor y todo eso, ¿verdad? Sí. Amén. Pero realmente hay esperanza, nos dice el Señor, ¿verdad? Entonces, para entender cómo hemos llegado ahí, tenemos que volver al principio. Go back to the beginning. So this whole started with one choice. 
way back, you know, we read it in Genesis, amen? amen? We read it in Genesis and it says that Adam and Eve chose to go with their own plan and rejected God's plan. Does that sound familiar, you know? Entonces dice la Biblia en Génesis que Adán y Eva decidieron ir por su propio plan, dejando el plan de Dios a un lado, ¿verdad? Entonces eso causó confusión. Y esa confusión creó una separación entre Dios y el hombre. So this, their, their choice to move away from God's plan created a confusion between them that made a separation between God and man. It's simple. It's simple enough, but let's think about it. It's a decision to move away from God's plan to choose our own. Maybe sometimes we may look and act like Adam and Eve. I don't know. I know I've done it. I've done it. A veces uno mismo hace eso mismo. Uno va con su propio plan y deja el plan de Dios a un lado. Porque parece muy difícil, ¿no? Y esta separación fue la que creó la lujuria que nosotros creamos, que, que nosotros estamos hablando. This separation created this loss, this twisting in our hearts. Instead of seeking for the best in others, for the good in others, we want to seek for the what works for me. Society is telling us that a key to happiness is get anything you want, sleep with whoever you want, me, 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 me. Right? Eso es lo que la sociedad nos está diciendo. La manera de ser feliz es compra todo lo que quieres, duerme con quien tú quieras, ten relaciones con quien tú quieras, es solo para ti, para ti, para ti. ¿Cierto? So, this original sin that we hear, that we think is so way back there, you know, it's like a theoretical thing. No, it really affected us. As a society, we're hurting. As people, we're hurting. Este pecado original que nosotros escuchamos, que pensamos que es por allá, lejos, que eso solamente ocurrió, pues es una idea teórica, eso realmente nos está afectando a nosotros. En nuestra sociedad está sufriendo. Nosotros estamos sufriendo por esas decisiones de separarnos del plan de Dios. Es tan simple, pero tan profundo. Nuestra sociedad vive en un despair. I don't know how to say despair. So our society lives in despair. Desespero. Desespero. There you go. Thank you. My translator back there. So nuestra sociedad vive en un desespero. Si nosotros miramos hay familias rotas, hay abuso sexual, corazones rotos. Una en tres mujeres antes de los 18 años es abusada. Una en tres. One in three girls is abused before they reach 18 years old. 40% of the kids in the U.S. at one point will live with a single mother. 40% de los niños en Estados Unidos van a vivir con una madre soltera en algún punto de su vida antes de llegar a los 16 años. Every day, 8,000 teenagers, teenagers, 8,000, become infected with an STD every day. Todos los días, adolescentes, 8,000 adolescentes, se infectan de una enfermedad venérea. Todos los días. This has to give us a wake up call. Tenemos que como una sociedad despertarnos y ver qué es lo que podemos hacer. El problema es que nuestra sociedad, eh, la, la televisión, la música, la, las telecomunicaciones, nos han mostrado cada vez más un contenido sexual que nosotros nos, nos hemos vuelto como acostumbrados. We have become more and more desensitized to the increase in implicit, explicit or implied sexual content in our media. And this is distorting our thoughts on marriage and the role of sex and who we are as people. So what happens? Lust dominates our culture so much that we get so used to it that it's like, ah, whatever, it's just 
just a movie. It's just one or three scenes. It's just half of the movie. You know, it's like we become like, oh, so ap apathetic. There's this apathy, like, you know, it's all right, you know, whatever flows our boats. You know? Entonces, esta, esta lujuria domina nuestra sociedad, como de que, bueno, es solamente una escena, solamente es la televisión, tú sabes, eso pasa. Es la canción, es just the beat, you know, que nosotros nos acostumbramos y nos volvemos como que, ay, eso está bien. Eh, bueno, si no me afecta, ¿qué importa, verdad? Y eso causa que haya menos deseo de cambiar. Nosotros nos acostumbramos, nos quedamos tranquilos, y ok, alguien, alguien debería hacer algo. Somebody should do something, right? I guess. But nobody is, is really stepping up to create that change. So what happens with that? We get so used to things being wrong that we settle down for less than what we know we want, that we know we deserve, but we think that, well, you know, everybody's doing it. Well, you know, it's just how, how men are nowadays. It's just, it's just girls, they just dress like that, you know? And we became, and we settled down for less than what we deserve. Entonces, ¿qué pasa? Cuando nos acostumbramos a cómo están las cosas afuera, como nos volvemos tan, a, a, bueno, nos volvemos tan acostumbrados a cómo están las cosas, no queremos cambiar, que aceptamos lo que sea que nos caiga, como dicen. Nosotros nos... Aceptamos menos de lo que sabemos que queremos, menos de lo que sabemos que merecemos, pensando de que no es que hace una hora son los muchachos de ahora en día, tú sabes, todo, ah, así son los hombres, ah, así se visten las mujeres, está bien. Y eso está mal. This is wrong. But the good news is that there is hope. God is still with us. We just received Jesus upstairs. I, I don't know, but that was the real Jesus here that we received, amen? God is with us, and as long as he's with us, there is hope. Hay esperanza. Nosotros todavía vivimos con Dios. Dios está entre nosotros. Recibimos a Jesús en la misa, en la Eucaristía. Y eso nos dice que hay esperanza. Entonces, para volver a arreglar estos problemas, tenemos que volver otra vez al comienzo de cómo es el plan original y cómo podemos volver a vivir este plan original en nuestras vidas. Entonces, tenemos que volver al llamado original de que estamos llamados a amar y amar como Dios nos ama. So, ¿Cuál es nuestro llamado? ¿Cuál es nuestro llamado? So we have to just go back to the basics and the basis of our calling. Our calling is to love and to love as God loves. So what is our calling? So you see, see, see. It's so simple, it's so obvious, but it's so profound. We need to go back to the basics. <laughs> so, God gave each and every one of us a little echo in our hearts of the love that He intends for us. He gave us that little desire of like, wow, there's, there's something better. El Señor nos regaló ese un eco en nuestro corazón que nos dice que queremos amar, que queremos algo mejor, de que aspiramos a ser alguien más. Ese deseo de llegar y alcanzar grandes cosas, de tener significado para nuestra vida. Y ese, ese eco de amor nos dice que el amor no domina, no oprime a los demás y no utiliza a los demás. So that little call to love that, that God put in the bottom of our heart, that little whisper, tells us that love does not dominate, does not oppress, and does not use others. That is the true love that we are called to, that we desire. Maybe we don't remember all the time, but we desire it, right? I know I desire it. Do you desire it? I desire that love. I want to be loved completely. That call to love is stamped in our physical bodies. It's obvious, yet it's so profound. We want to give ourselves. We want to make ourselves a gift 
We want to be loved and loved. So we just have to remember, going back to the beginning, how this call to love was stamped in our bodies from the very beginning. You know, for example, if uh, somebody volunteer with a, with a Bible, come up here to read Genesis 1, 26 to 27. Alguien que venga adelante para que me lea Génesis con su Biblia. Because I know somebody knows the Bible. There you go. Amen, hermana. And he said, it is not good 